Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. It's Auntie Anna coming to you from Toronto, Canada with the usual readings that I do. Before we even begin, let me read this poem that I love so much. It's called Challenge Accepted by Benji James. Could it be I've never seen beauty in me? Took time to reflect on all that I am. I haven't shared everything I can on this soul searching road. The winds and turns, each corner holds secrets. Each road taken holds challenges untold. Which road you choose is how life unfolds. Some are rougher. Sometimes it's smooth sailing. All the time I've invested in this world, I've come to realize each moment is just a piece strung together in this story called life. I have no wisdom in my words. All I know is I've survived. Yeah, still alive. Some would say I feel too much. Some would say I'm too myself. Mistakes, I owned them. Haters, I outgrow them. There's a whole lot in me only a few people see. A light that shines slightly through the cracks. I'm not all bad. And all the strength gathered has taken me to heights. Others couldn't imagine, like a lighter, a little spark can ignite a torch, revealing truths in dark corners. It's all these things that makes me a lyrical philosopher. Through these lines, I conquer. A man made of scars, each marks a tale, each a reminder of lessons learned. I've been through the ringer, still standing, and I'll still fight until my last breath drains all my minds. No matter what the world throws my way, I'll always say, challenge accepted. Never give up. I still dream. I still fight my way through each day. No matter the odds stacked against me, I erase my head, accept the challenges met. Some would say I feel too much. Some would say I'm too myself. Mistakes, I own them. Haters, I outgrow them. There's a whole lot in me only a few people see. A light that shines slightly through the cracks. I'm not all bad. And all the strength gathered has taken me to heights. Others couldn't imagine like a lighter, a little spark can ignite a torch, revealing truths in dark corners. It's all these things that makes me a lyrical philosopher. Through these lines, I conquer. Nothing is going to hold me down. I'm going to dance like a warrior. All these bad habits couldn't be sorrier. All these battles I've won, some left me scarred. But through this, my skin became hard. Got a thick skin, never cut through it. Got a good heart, shines through in my art. Belief only takes you so far. Have faith, I'll take you beyond the stars. They say wisdom can't be found in bars. In unlikely places, you can find yourself and accept it as all you are, all that you've become. Water washes over me, setting me free. 
all this dirt cleansed from me. You haven't seen the best from me. Some would say, I feel too much. Some would say, I'm too myself. Wow, what a deep poem. And this poem is by Hasnik. Well, so what are you thinking about? What are you dreaming about? What are some of the things that have shaken your very core? And how are you using it to help humanity? So we're back to our book, Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins has very been very instrumental in my journey of inspiring myself and humanity. And this book, two weeks ago, we heard about Mr. Honda, who today we all know as a household name, Honda cars, Honda motorbikes, and so many other Honda products. But before this product became a household name, Mr. Honda went through so much. Disappointment. He had to take risk. Disappointments upon disappointment. But he never gave up. And so let's go on to what this book is telling us with his journey. But before we do that, Mr. Tony Robbins has given us a few rejection letters for people who dreamt, who were rejected, but because they stayed the course, millions of people are now enjoying, have enjoyed their book and continue to enjoy their book. One of them is Animal Farm. We all read it. If you didn't, you should look for it. The rejection letter to that book is, it is impossible to sell animal stories in the USA. Wow. It does not seem to us that you have been wholly successful in working out an admitted, admittedly promising idea. That's Lord of the Flies. Wow. I remember once I heard Oprah say she was told she wasn't going to be good for TV. Well, we all know the rest of the story. So let's continue. Honda certainly knew that sometimes when you make a decision and take action in the short term, it may look like it's not working. In order to succeed, you must have a long-term focus. Most of the challenges we have in our personal lives, like indulging constantly in overeating, drinking, or smoking to feeling overwhelmed and giving up on our dreams come from a short-term focus. Success and failure are not overnight experiences. It's all the small decisions along the way that cause people to fail. It's failure to follow up. It's failure to follow up. It's failure to take action. It's failure to persist. It's failure to manage your mental and emotional state. It's failure to control what we focus on. Conversely, success is the result of making small decisions, deciding to feel, to feed your mind rather than allowing the environment to control you. These small decisions create the life experiences we call success. No individual or organization that has become successful has done so with short-term focus. On a national scale, most of the challenges that we're currently experiencing are the result of not thinking of the potential consequences of the decisions we've made. All are the results of short-term thinking. This is the Niagara Syndrome as it's most, at its most potent. While you're raging along the river, focusing on the next rock you might hit, you don't or can't see far enough ahead of you to avoid the falls, but you must still continue. As a society, we're so focused on instantaneous gratification that our short-term solution often 
become long-term problems. Our kids have trouble paying attention in school long enough to think, memorize, and learn, partly because they become addicted to instantaneous gratification from constant exposure to things like video games, TV commercials, and others. In business too, this kind of short-term focus can be deadly. The whole, but the oil company, sorry, the whole controversy surrounding Exxon Valdez, this was a disaster that happened many years ago with an oil company, could have been averted by making one small decision. Exxon, which was the company then, could have been off, could have outfitted its tankers with double holes. A proactive decision that would have prevented oil spills in the event of a collision. But the oil companies chose not to, looking at the immediate rather than long-term impact on its bottom line. Following the crash and resultant spill, Exxon is responsible for paying a whopping $1.1 million. So what Tony is saying is that sometimes instead of us thinking deeper and further about our decisions, we take short decisions that don't exactly go the way we want it. At the end of the day, he's saying it creates more problems than necessary. So we should think things through and we should have a long term vision, have a plan A or a plan B. I've been on this journey of inspiring myself and others for a very long time and i plan on going further each day comes with something new i've done quite a bit i'm proud of what i've done but i have a bigger focus of where i want to go with reaching people with my inspirational message so i cannot let today or tomorrow stop me when struggles come i have to keep going i have to keep learning and i have to keep changing things it continues one young man who may have heard of you may have heard of drop out of high school because he decided he wasn't going to wait any longer to follow his dream of becoming a famous musician but this dream didn't become reality quickly enough in fact by the time he was 22 he feared that he had made the wrong decision and that no one would ever love his music He'd been playing music in piano bars and he was flat broke, sleeping in laundromats because he no longer had a home. The only thing that had been holding him together was his romantic relationship. Then his girlfriend decided to leave him and when she did, it pushed him over the edge. He immediately focused on how he could never again find another woman as beautiful as she. What this meant to him was that his life was over. So he decided to commit suicide. Mm. Fortunately, before doing so, he reconsidered his options and decided instead to check into a mental institution. Good idea. Spending time there gave him some new references about what real problems were. He later recalls saying, oh, I'll never get that low again, he now declares. It was one of the best things I ever did because I've never gotten to feel sorry for myself, no matter what's happened. Any problem since then is nothing compared with what I've seen other people go through. By renewing his commitment and following his dreams long-term, he eventually had all that he wanted. His name, Billy Joe. Wow, wow. Can you imagine if Billy Joe had given up because things were going wrong? Can you imagine? Look at all these beautiful songs that many of us have enjoyed and continue to enjoy. Can you imagine that this man, whom millions of fans love and supermodel Christy Brinkley married, was ever worried about the quality of his music or finding a woman as beautiful as his ex-girlfriend? The key to remember is that what happened to be impossible in the short term turned into a phenomenal example of success and happiness 
in the long term. He didn't give in to depression. He didn't give in to dropping out of school. He didn't give in to being broke. He took care of himself by checking into a mental institution and there he got a little rest. Looking at others, he realized his situation wasn't so bad after all. So what are you doing? One belief that I've developed to carry me through extremely tough times is simply this. God's delays are not God's denials. Often, what seems impossible in the short term becomes very possible in the long term if you persist. I can speak to this on my journey of making a difference on my journey of developing my charitable organization, Endless Possibilities, on my journey of running programs, on my journey of trying to inspire others. Sometimes things go so wrong, I want to quit. But then I look at the good I've done. I look at the good in my heart. I look at what's possible. I take a little break, like Billy Joel did, check it into a mental institution. I come back and continue on the journey. And as long as the heavens bless me with old age, I will continue to do that. That is inspire society and myself. A metaphor that I use to remind myself of this is comparing life's ups and downs to the changing of the seasons. No season lasts forever because all of life is a cycle of planting, reaping, resting, and renewal. Winter is not infinite. Even if you're having challenges today, you can never give up on the coming of spring. Oh, winter can get so cold. Sometimes you just, you just want to cry. But then the minute it goes down a bit and the weather becomes a little bit warmer and the birds begin to sing again, life begins. We get very excited. We think about the beach. We think about barbecues. We think about hanging out with friends and family. So whatever season you enter, winter or not, know that spring will come. For some people, winter means hibernation. They stay inside. For others, it means bobsledding and downhill skiing. They go out and get wild. You can always just wait out the season. But why not make it into a time to remember? Wow, why not? Why not turn all those negative things into positive? Remember the thing about lemons? When you're given lemons, what do you do? You make lemonade. One of my best quotes is, gold comes to its purest form after it's been through the fiery furnace. You see? The mineral gold that is used to turn um, out beautiful jewelry that we buy and wear so proudly goes through a lot of fire. So see yourself as gold coming to its purest form. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Okay? It's Auntie Anna coming to you from Toronto, Canada with readings to inspire you, to inspire me. What can I say? I'm dedicating my life to inspiring myself to doing good in my humanity in my humanity that means i don't always get it right but i plan to continue on this path to inspire you to inspire me and so i'm developing programs that will continue to bring us all hope stay blessed be encouraged be inspired and make sure that you turn your lemons into lemonade. See you soon.